Welcome to this Windows channel and this is part two of my full review of the Spring Creators Update, the next major version of Windows 10. So part one dealt with how it's going to arrive to your PC and how you can also get it in, um, in, in the you know media creation tools and everything. It will be updated on April the 10th by the way. In this part we're going to look at uh, the start menu changes and the fluent design including also a few changes in settings and of course with these videos we will talk about these um, very you know broadly but if you want to have very specific uses for the new features we'll have very specific videos for that also coming up in the next few weeks so um, okay in the Spring Creators update, one of the things that is actually a little more present is the uh, kind of a refined look for the Fluent Design and everything. So Fluent Design will have touched a little more, um, inc including the tile. So when you actually move your mouse pointer over a tile in the start menu, stuff like that, you will have uh, some effect of kind of a lightning, you know, some lighting from behind, basically following your mouse pointer. And of course, some transparencies going with that. There's a more, I would say, a little more spaced way of putting the text. And um, this also, they've been working on kind of the contrast between the, the, the text and the background to improve the visibility. Uh, of course, on the left side, there are icons for all sorts of, you know, the file explorer networks, uh, the different. Um, you know, folders like documents, um, videos, images, and so on, or photos. And uh, they've also worked on the icons, making them a little more interesting. Uh, you can, of course, shut the start menu uh, completely off, um, depending on the settings that you want. There's a lot of things you can actually collapse now. Um, revamped, as you see here, start, very, very big visible start at the top. When you click on that, there's a lot of little changes in the way that the start menu will actually interact. Uh, new ways also with the different tiles, which now actually have more options. Not only do you resize and change the, the visibility, but um, you'll have, of course, the ability to turn on or off live tiles. But also, many tiles will also have the possibility to go into app settings directly by right-clicking an app. No more, I got to go into the settings and I got to go into the settings of that specific app or open the app and go into the little settings. You can do it right from here. Right-click on whatever app and if you have settings uh, possibilities, you'll have the app settings that will actually show up. So these are a few of the things that are interesting in that um, respect. A uh, little bit of changes, of course, in the taskbar. The taskbar has now a better way of actually showing the different options, including the icons and the information you get off of the different uh, icons in your taskbar. It's still split, you know, in the same way. Bottom left, start menu, Cortana, your apps or folders that you wish to have there for a quick start. And on the right side, of course, everything that is uh, kind of running in the background right now or, or, or you know, easily um, running. You um, will also have a revamped quick actions that has a little more information. And we're going to talk about that in a, a separate video. Uh, it has a new way of, uh, you know, giving you the quick actions, the notifications of things happening, including, you know, app downloads and all sorts of information, um, which is kind of cool. There's a continue where you left off much more visible once again i'll have that quick actions i think it it is okay to have its own video because there's a lot of changes there uh fluent design across the board of course and uh in the settings so in the settings fluent design is very visible but it's even more visible when you go into some of the different settings and you see here very beautiful fluent design uh, acrylic transparencies within the menus the settings have been, of course, worked. So now there are a few more settings appearing here, including Cortana that now has its own setting. So this is very interesting because 
Cortana now will have its own settings. Before you had to go into the Cortana app, uh, click there and try to you know find the settings you want through the Cortana search box, basically almost. Now with Cortana settings being here, you have all sorts of little settings, and we'll of course look into more detail of all of these things in very specific videos of all of these features. So there's a lot of little nice um, things in here. There are new ways of interacting, of course, uh, including the um, acrylic blur effect that is now available within the taskbar also. And that's a lot of little things in here that are kind of cool. Uh, so that's the superficial side of what's happening. For the rest, it, you know, that your, your desktop and taskbar and start menu still pretty much operate in the same way. There's no big differences in here. Uh, if you are using a touch device, there are some improvements on touch, a lot of improvements on touch to try to make the experience a little better. So that will also reflect upon when using, you know, uh, the different options, including your start menu and your quick actions. Uh, so these are kind of the cool little things that are available here. So this is the first look for, <coughs> sorry, for the uh, start menu, for the desktop, and uh, for settings. And um, we, of course, will continue with more of the improvements within these uh, different options in here. Uh, for those looking for, oh, where's Windows 10 S? Well, uh, we're, we're still at a little something in here because every version of um, every little version of, um, you know, uh, actually every version of Windows 10 will have Windows 10 S mode available. But it's not, if you're upgrading, it's not there. And we pretty much think, and that's why we're waiting for the image to appear because we pretty much think that in the official release of the ISO, Windows 10 S mode will appear when you do a total clean install from scratch. So this is something that I will be looking at for sure. Um, also, some of you will have, I've removed it, but there's a My People Experience Hub that is available uh, in your taskbar, by the way. The My People Experience has been completely revamped, making it easier, um, in sharing files by just drag and drop now. A lot more interesting um, to see. One of the things also in the start menu that will be interesting is that when you have um, different apps or different folders that have uh, different, you know, many different windows open or many documents. Um, the different folders will also l let you see everything that's open. So when basically you've got tons of little things that are open together, when you look at the different uh, programs or folders, depending on what you're doing, you will see that it will actually give you a list of all the little things that are open that you can actually go through specifically if you want. So uh, this is, you know, interesting uh, to see um, some little changes. But, you know, like I always say, a lot of people will just get in here and say, hey, I don't see much happening. One last thing to um, basically people that use a um, touch device and that actually are have some kind of disability, there's a new eye control functionality that will kind of try to see where you're looking at on the screen and help you with all of that. So um, all sorts of little things that are changing like this and we are going to take a look of course at more and more details in the inner um, parts of Windows 10. Uh, there's a lot more to talk about in these little reviews. If you enjoy my videos please subscribe, give us thumbs up, thank you for watching.